Stephen, we were just discussing about what an incredibly well-written news release you just put out about your diamond drilling program at Alsis Lake. You're there right now, correct? That's right. Just arrived yesterday. And so tell us how it's going, and we'd love an update. Well, you know what, Tracy? This is my actually my first time at, at site at Alsis Lake, and I'm so impressed with the team and the, and the camp and the progress that we're making this summer so far. It's been a great drill program. Uh, we're about a third, a little bit over a third of the way through. We have a $3 million budget uh, uh, dedicated to drilling this summer. And uh, we are uh, looking at a variety of new targets and drill testing those new targets, as well as uh, continuing to explore and prospecting along a 20 plus kilometer uh, structural corridor, a shear zone. And uh, we're very excited by the progress we've made so far this, this summer. Uh, you're, you commented recently that the, uh, the identification of the Magnet Ridge Zone following last year's drill program was a major success. Would you like to comment further on that? We were able to extend the Magnet, magnet Ridge Zone uh, with the initial few holes that we, that, we, that we completed. And then we moved the rig on to some new targets, uh, primarily one referred to as the Jesse Zone. Following the completion of the drilling at the Jesse Zone, we'll be moving the rigs over to the Western Anomalies and the Hin Zones. You're currently in front of a bunch of ore. You want to give us a tour? Absolutely. In fact, what I'd like to do is bring in our lead geologist, Kaylin Branning, and he's going to give you a little bit of an idea of what high-grade monazite looks like. So this is what we're looking for, high-grade monazite. We find it at surface and extends to depth up to 50 meters. So what we're looking at here is 50% total rare earths in drill core, and we find this at the WRC zone. I know a lot of eyes are on Appia right now, Stephen, and I'm so delighted by that. Can you tell people who may not be familiar with the Alsis Lake project where exactly you're standing right now? We're standing in northern Saskatchewan, Tracy, and uh, we're on the north, northern shore of the Athabasca, of Lake Athabasca, and uh, we're about 30 kilometers outside of Uranium City. And of course, for those of you out there that go critical minerals, Appia, rare earths, and uranium, can you tell us what is actually at Alsis Lake in the monocyte? He mentioned rare earths. Can you comment on which ones, please? Well, as far as the rare earth content is concerned, uh, we're obviously, we're, we're quite interested in, in the light and heavies, so the NDPR as well as the terbium and uh, dysprosium. That's our primary focus. That's what we're after here at Alsa's Lake. So I'll let you get back to it, but before I do, can you just tell us what that helicopter was bringing in? Was that lunch? <laughs> that was a long line. So what we do is uh, when we're moving rigs around from one location to the next, that helicopter is uh, is used, and uh, each piece is 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 lifted and moved to the next location. So that's an example of of how we we move our rigs around from uh, point A to point B. For more information on Appia Rare Earths and Uranium, please go to the following site and/or send us an email, and we'll introduce you. Thank you.